This is my screen recording for the enhancement for this week, Enhancement 5. My name is Stephen Laney, and I will be taking you through my code right now. Um, for some reason, things decided to lock out Oh, at this moment. I actually had to do a reset on my website cache. Um, so, um, what I'm supposed to be showing you is how things work in the products view. So as you can see, everything looks clean here. I have this up so that way you can see um, that I'm not getting any errors in my code. Um, so here in my new product, if I go to an explosive and I type in things and many things, leave everything else blank, go to submit values. It's not going to let me continue until I go through with with everything else. Um, it's it's going to continue to ask me to fill out the fields. Um, I have this for both um, adding a product and also adding a category. Um, fields need to be filled out. I also have with Safari, which Safari was um, not able to handle that HTML uh, with client-side stuff. Um, and so to be able to show that it works um, here as well, I guess we're going to products. Um, a new product. Do a rocket. Big rocket. If we go to submit value, again, it's asking us to fill the field. So uh, let's go over the code for this. Let me bring over this window. And let's actually dump it over there. Just make it look a little cleaner. So um, search results out. OK, so. My code for that is here at the bottom. Um, you can ignore these ones up here. Um, here in my index.php. So as you can see, I have the filtering in that we're supposed to add. Um, I have for my um, for my view. So like uh, new product, new category. Actually, so just closed view new category so the new product um, you can see that I have that these are all required fields now and they also have to set if the values already has a value um, to go ahead and include that value in there um, so that way that's not taken out as you can see here in my functions I have where it's um, got some filters up in here as well. Um, what else were we supposed to show? Video navigation function um, calls the controller. So I also included this navigation function here in the functions. And now I, I, I currently have, as you can see, the index. Um, it's Everything's commented out. I'm going to go ahead and delete this um, just because I know that it works, and we'll go ahead and save that. Um, but my uh, nav list is coming from this make nav list function over here, and um, so this right here is my uh, accounts index, my accounts controller, and this over here is my products controller. You can see that I have the same thing working for it over here, which I guess we can go ahead and delete all that code. Um, this is actually for um, um, for what we included in the new product. So this up here at the top, that was for this. We were told to keep the category, get equal category up over there. So, um, and we can go ahead and see, like, that's reloading the page. All this is coming from from this function I created 
um, here in my functions.php. So um, I believe that that more or less shows everything that I had. We'll go ahead and copy my CSS. Um, copy that and we'll go to the CSS validator paste her in and no errors found with that as well so I'll include my code with this and I hope everything is up to par because it seems to be so thank you